Hi, welcome to DP Literature HL at Huron High School in the Ann Arbor Public Schools. I'm Chris Erickson. I teach year one of DP Literature. I'm also the CAS coordinator for the diploma program, and I'm the service learning coordinator for the career related program. And I'm Sean Eldon. I teach the second year of DP Literature. I also teach Theory of Knowledge or TOK in the diploma program. So in this presentation, we just want to give you all an overview for the course. And the first thing to know is that this is a two year course that students can take. It really focuses on three areas, reading and thinking, writing and speaking. Students read 13 texts over the course of two years. And these texts come from a variety of places and spaces and time, a variety of cultures, and they're written in a variety of genres. One of the texts that really resonates with me is a collection of poetry by Carol Ann Duffy called The World's Wife. The World's Wife explores a variety of myths and legends, and it looks at these myths and legends through the perspective of the women who were there. One of the texts that really resonates with me is Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. It's a graphic novel. And what I love about it is it really gets us to think about how stories can, can be told in a variety of ways. There's also a variety of films that we've incorporated into the course. And these films are a way to make connections with the material uh, in our contemporary life. One of the films that really connects with me is Parasite, a Korean film from a couple years back that explores issues related to class in the modern world. And one of the films for me that I uh, really connect with is A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, which is actually a vampire film that is created by an Iranian American filmmaker. And it really explores the topics of gender and power and kind of mixes the idea of protagonist and antagonist within the larger plot line of the story. There's four assessments over the two years of DP literature. The first assessment, the IO, takes place in the junior year. The HL essay takes place at the, in the first semester of the senior year. And papers one and two are part of the year-end exams that students take at the end of their IB journey. There are also three areas of exploration that provide structure for our idea exploration over the course of the two years. And we constantly come back to these areas of exploration and we think about how our understanding of them changes as we read more texts. Our three areas are time and space, uh, intertextuality and readers, writers and texts. We also focus on global issues and global issues are a really interesting way of framing our exploration of texts and ideas by thinking about idea, things that happen on a global level, but we can notice more locally. And it allows for students to choose things that they're really interested in exploring as it relates to the text that we study. Students keep a learner portfolio as a record of their growth and thinking and learning over the course of two years. Some of the texts we read, we read in book clubs to give students choice. So this is a great place to locate some of those individual and personal reactions to literature. We also spend a lot of time concept mapping and thinking about larger topics or issues that we're interested in. It also really allows us a great way to compare texts and to focus on intertextuality um, as we continue to read more texts and interact with a variety of texts over the course of the two years. Uh, it's a really fun activity and exercise to be able to track our thinking and how our thinking changes over the course of the two years. Close reading is an important skill. It basically involves looking deeply into a text and trying to figure out what each word, what, e what each piece of punctuation means, how authors make choices to create meaning for their readers. We also spend a lot of time collaborating in DP literature, as you can see from these pictures. Um, you know, one of the fun things about class is we get to put all of our brains together and really ask questions of the text, explore different ideas, and come to some new understandings together. And so collaboration is a really important part of the thinking and the idea exploration that we do in class. One thing that I really love about DP literature is just seeing the growth and the increased independence in students as they move from the beginning of their junior year to the end of their senior year. Students can be really proud of how much stronger they are as readers, as writers, and as thinkers. 
And one of the things that I really love about this course is that we really get to explore a variety of stories and different ways that stories are told. And it allows us to really think about who gets to tell the stories and uh, what stories are included in terms of our larger understanding of the world and how we navigate through the world. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. Our emails are included right here. And I hope this helps you make a decision about which uh, HL course to take in English. Take care. Thank you.